In this video, we're going to show you how to create a deposit. So the deposit page will reflect rents received and owner contributions. I'll record an amount of rents received right here of $800, and I'll record an owner contribution. I'll go to the Owners tab and click on Owner Balance History. Here, I have an owner named Bob, and I'll click on Record Owner Contribution. I'll enter $50 and save. So both of those should appear on the Create Deposit page. To get there, you want to hover your mouse on the Banks tab and click on Create Deposit. At the top, you can select the bank account from the drop-down menu. Right below that, you want to select the date that the items were deposited. You can also enter in a deposit memo. I'll write deposited on February 6. And you can also enter in other cash received and less cash withdrawn. At the bottom right here, we have two deposits waiting for us. The first uh, is on 123 Main Street from John Smith. We can see on 2-1 we received a check of $800. And then right below that, we can see an owner contribution from Bob, a check of $50. I want to deposit both of these at the same time, so I'll make sure both of these are checkmarked, and I'll click Save. So that is how you create a deposit in the bank. It takes us to the Deposit History page, and at the bottom we can see Deposits Made February 6. It shows our memo and it shows the amount deposited of $850. If you go to Take Actions, you can show the deposit, print the deposit slip, and delete the deposit. I'll show you what the deposit slip looks like. It will generate a PDF. And at the top left corner, we have the property management company name, address, and phone number. We have the date of the items deposited and we can see a total number of deposited items we have two and it shows the total 850. right below that we have the routing and account numbers and we have the deposit summary so we can see the first item is a check from john smith of 800 and the second item is a check from bob of 50 dollars 